Hi, I'm Shauna Leinster, and this is Healthy, Happy, and Whole. And today we're unwrapping the truth about chocolate. The big controversial question, is chocolate actually good for you? Well, the answer is yes, but it all comes down to the ingredients. The key ingredients you wanna look for, first you wanna make sure it's at least 80% dark chocolate. And you want pure cocoa mass and cocoa butter comes straight from the cocoa pod, and you want it to be raw. That takes away all the over-processing. And you definitely don't want any sugar, because all that sugar is going to negate the really beneficial antioxidants that we know dark chocolate has. And another big awesome thing about chocolate is did you know that good chocolate is actually vegan? It's not supposed to have any milk in there. So stay away from the sugar, stay away from the milk, and you're gonna be awesome. All right, so today we are making superfood chocolate hazelnut spread. It is way better than it sounds. And no bake uh, date almond butter cups. Okay, so let's get started on the date almond butter cups. I have here some uh, muffin liners that I've already um, melted some chocolate in. And what I did is I took some unsweetened chocolate chips, just some regular chocolate chips, again, no sugar, on a double boiler here with equal parts coconut oil and you have this delicious melted chocolate. It takes a minute. You wanna set this in the freezer for about an hour or, or even a, a bit more if you have the time, and then that's gonna be the base of our almond butter cups. So the next layer is the dates and the almond butter. So in a food processor, we're just gonna add about one cup of almond butter, and if you can get the raw unsalted almond butter, that's always best. That way you can add your own salt to it. Okay, oh, it looks so good already. <laughs> and here I have some dates that I've soaked in some filtered water. And date water is so good. You can add it to your oatmeal. You can honestly just drink it. You can put it in smoothies. So these have been soaked, so they're nice and soft. So I'm gonna scoop out about eight dates or so with about half a cup of the date water. And that's going to give it a natural sweetness. Okay, so let's blend that up. And that's it. Okay. So now we just scoop that out. Right in here. You just want a thin layer. So from here, you would put it back in your freezer and let that set for a bit. And then what you're going to do is top it up with one more, or two more, <laughs> spoonfuls of chocolate. Oh, let's just cover the whole thing. That looks so awesome. Look at that. Let's just, just pour it right in. Oh my goodness. The hardest part about this is waiting for it to set. <laughs> and then you can even garnish it with some berries. I have some almond slivers here. So when it sets, that's gonna be frozen right on top. And this is what it looks like at the end. Beautiful. Oh, I just wanna cut into one, I can't wait. And if it melts a bit, oh, it's even better. Look at that. I can't wait to try that later. Okay, so next we're going to make the superfood chocolate hazelnut spread. So in the blender here, I've already made the hazelnut butter. This is a really crucial step. This takes about three to five minutes to blend your hazelnuts into a really fine butter. So from there, we have some coconut milk. I'll put that right in there. We have cacao powder, and this is the raw cacao powder. It is unsweetened. That's gonna make it chocolatey and delicious. We have maple syrup for that natural sweetness. We have some chia seeds and flax meal. Dump those in there. Okay, and then some pure vanilla, about half a teaspoon. And this here, flaxseed oil. So this is really amping up the omega-3s. And it gives it a really nice, almost like a bitter taste, but it still has that sweetness. It's a beautiful balance. And of course, we don't want to forget some dates as well. And some date water. Okay. So from there, we would blend that up. Blend it for about three minutes or so. You're gonna get a beautiful, smooth consistency. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I could just spread this on anything. Or just eat it just like this. <laughs> it's so good on toast. It's great dipped with strawberries. You can put it on ice cream. Use your imagination. 
And there you go. I am going to dig into this. So um, thanks so much for watching and make sure you go online to 700club.ca to get these recipes. And you can call in to 855-759-0700 to get your recipe sheets. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.